you can see your game sort of floating in the air in front of you. So these guys sent over some XR glasses for me to check out. These are the Witcher 1 XR glasses. Beat em Ups has talked about them several times. Linus Tech Tips did a video on it too. And now I am going to have a go and tell you what I think. So Witcher were kind enough to sponsor this video and they sent over two pairs of glasses, the neckband, the case for the neckband, and the Nintendo Switch dock pack, which also extends the battery of the Nintendo Switch. I am excited! <laughs> I have already watched movies on these glasses. I've already played my PS5 games. I have also already played Xbox Series X on these glasses, the Nintendo Switch on these glasses. I have taken them outside of the house and I've been thoroughly using the neck band as well. I have plenty of things to say about this new product and let me just start off by their booklet. What are the promises of these XR glasses? Okay, I'm playing as Peach. Okay. Awards and accolades. Best inventions 2022. Now the Witcher 1 glasses, they are compatible with the Steam Deck. I don't have a Steam Deck, so I couldn't check that out. Compatible with Android phone. Actually, yeah. I hooked them to my phone. And actually a funny interface popped up that I've never seen on an Android phone before. It almost looked like a PC. That was kind of funny. So these glasses, they are promising. That you can go from a 720p screen on the Steam Deck and also probably the Switch. I think they also mean the Switch. And to a 1080p 60 frames per second on the Witcher 1. So what this is actually telling me straight out of the box is that these are working as a monitor on your eyes. These are actually like having a TV in front of your eyes. Do you think they look stylish? Imagine traveling with this, having this on the plane. Now let's look at the other features. TV to go, exactly, exactly what I said. Fashionable and functional. Lightweight and ergonomic. I agree, they're not heavy. You know, when I have previously reviewed like a actual VR headset and I've complained about how tight it feels around the head and how tired I get from the weight of the entire thing, I'm sure you remember that. This form factor is much more what I would prefer. Exactly what I would prefer, actually. I've never played this. Amazing display, yep. Can confirm. Stunning audio. Now I watched Pride and Prejudice. The movie was actually packed in, coming with the neckband. So I watched that, lied on the couch. And while I was lying on the couch, it just looked like I was chilling with sunglasses on, but I was actually watching a movie. Vision correction. Now here's the thing with the glasses, and uh, this is what I immediately thought of when I saw the product for my first time. I was like, how are they gonna do it if you are already a glasses wearer? Now uh, my eyesight is really good, but I do need a tiny bit of adjustment in order to get uh, just about anything to be perfectly crisp and sharp. So they have two dials where you can adjust the picture to be perfect crispy clear and I had to tweak that for a tiny bit in order to get my perfect sharpness what I did is that I closed one eye and then I adjusted the eye and then I closed that one and I adjusted that one and then, then it was good native 3d support so that makes you able to watch fully native 3d videos so with the glasses if you have two of them which I do have you can play together in XR I'm just focused on the game da -da 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 -da. I definitely can't pop my head, that makes it even worse. I know! The screen is on your eyes. Yeah. I mean, the screen is clear, but I can't see on both my eyes. Oh yeah. But there are two knobs. You're a knob. <laughs> Now the docking pack, that is actually extending the battery life of your Switch. So if you bring your Switch in the docking device and you hook them to the, your glasses, it works as a dock to the glasses and also extends the battery life. That is good for traveling. A computer you wear around your neck. I want to say that it is like an Android device that you have around your neck. This thing that I'm holding in my hands right now, it has its own user interface, its own menus, own settings. You can sign in to Netflix, YouTube, any other streaming device that you like to watch your stuff on, you navigate with these buttons. And another setting that Linus wasn't aware of is that you can customize the d-pad directions under settings and you can also control the neckband with their app using touch gestures which you can also type text on. They have fans for cooling down the system and you wear it around your neck like this. These magnetic click-ons, <laughs> so satisfying. <laughs> what? And there you go. Right now, what I'm seeing is a screen in front of my face. 
And what I found out, something that Linus Tech Tips and his team said is that the screen felt like it was too close to you. Now I found, <laughs> lol, I found that in the settings, you can zoom the picture more out. You can adjust it up and down. And if you would like to the side and stuff. So that is kind of funny. He also mentioned motion sickness, but there is a setting to lock the screen in place by triple clicking the short button so that the screen doesn't follow your head. But I bet he didn't know that. And as you can see, you have YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video. Who uses Prime Video? And I have, of course, installed PS Play, which is my preferred app to cloud play my PS5 that's upstairs. And also the Xbox Play app, which works the same way. Veecher is now the official partner of PS Play and Xbox Play. So these two apps are now free for all MacBand users. Steam Link. Oh yeah, you can actually also play your Steam games on these glasses. And it works. It has a Google Play Store, 3D player. This neckband also has Bluetooth, so you can connect a gaming controller. You can of course adjust the brightness of the screen. You can adjust the volume. Something I'm gonna mention though, first when I put these on, uh, I felt like these what, what is this called? <laughs> the small things that goes on your nose. I had to change them out and the pack comes with several of these. So you can swap them and find whatever fits your nose bridge. After selecting the correct nose pad, you will have no issue seeing the whole screen, which apparently Linus struggled with. So I had to do that. I'm really enjoying these glasses, okay? Do I look fashionable? Now these are blue, dark blue, and I also have the black ones upstairs. And I like the case, the case is good. Also a case for the neckband, which can also charge the neckband when you're on the go fashion. It has an ambient mode. Uh, I've not been using the ambient mode, but in theory you can do cooking and also have a little video down on the side like that. I need to try that. Head gaze control. Uh, I haven't tried that either. <laughs> Oh my god. I hope you're not gonna show the gameplay of this. I've never played uh, anything. I've never played anything. <laughs> okay, so do you feel like the screen is floating in front of you? Yeah. It is basically two monitors that you can pack with you when you're traveling. You can also watch movies on this thing. Oh, Alright, mm -hmm. cool. And here you have the uh, packs that you can select. Glasses only, cloud pack, switch pack, or the ultimate pack. I recommend the ultimate pack. They also, for some reason, sent over a bunch of stickers. Thank you. Now, who would I say that these glasses are for? People that travel. Travel a lot, like take the train, take the bus. Also, if like you need your own little monitor in the house, you can lie down on the couch, stare into the void. It looks like you're staring into the void. You can lie on the couch and you're actually low key gaming. Oh yeah, when I played Switch, I was lying on the couch on my back and I had one Joy-Con in each hand. So I could lie in a funny position and it looked like I was staring into the void. Also, there is a setting for making the background more dark instead of transparent. And also, if you want to go even blacker, you have these shades that goes over it. Very good. I feel like this company is going all out with the marketing. I've seen a bunch of YouTubers get this care package and uh, I gotta say thank you again. It was really nice packaged. A lot of care and love was put into the packaging of this. Look at that. I can think of several places and situations where this would come in handy. Also, I like the form factor and I like that we're talking about glasses and not something that goes around your head and is weighing you down. I think the image quality is really good <laughs> if you adjust these knobs. And it's also kind of funny, you can see your game sort of floating in the air in front of you. Now, since this video is sponsored by Witcher, I actually have a link down below that you can click on in order Order to or in order to order in order to order your own pack the ultimate pack or just the switch dock pack i also have a discount code so if you use that you can get a discount on your order of the witcher one xr glasses and try these glasses out for yourself i am really intrigued by this product and i think they have come a long way the glasses feel good they feel very premium the neckband feels very premium a lot of fun can be had with this now thank you so much for sponsoring this video this has been a lot of fun lie on your couch and stare into the void you can fool people into thinking that you're chilling while you're actually sweaty gaming thank you so much for watching check out my link down below and i will see you later